So everyone knows that the brain is a network, right? So, but for, for, for decades, we could not look at the brain as a network because we did not have the wiring diagram. So in a way, I think the having the wiring diagram is essential to understand how memory consciousness works. And if you do have the wiring diagram, then the only way you can analyze is using the last set of tools of network theory. At the end, even brain scientists would say, it's not the neurons, it's all in the network. And if it's all in the network, our consciousness, our memory, our able to recognize each other all in the network, we must uh, use the tools of network science to understand that.